Howdy, how are you? Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of ammonium acetate. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam, so the first thing is we're going to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, we've got hydrogen, we've got carbon, and oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. So in this compound there's only one nitrogen. That's where the subscripts come into play. So there's one nitrogen. Hydrogen on the other hand, you've got hydrogen in two spots. So to find the total you just simply have to add up the number of hydrogen in each. So we've got seven hydrogens. Carbon is a two, so we've got two carbons, and then we've got two oxygens. We're going to take those number of atoms, then multiply it by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So we've highlighted all the elements. Hydrogen is 1.01, carbon is 12.01, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses that we're going to write down. Right? So nitrogen was 14.01, hydrogen was 1.01, carbon was 12.01, and oxygen is 16. And I wrote down 16.01. Um, next, we're going to then find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of the nitrogen in the compound is 14.01 units of mass. Hydrogen is going to be 7.07 .07 units of mass. Carbon is going to be 24.02 units of mass. And oxygen is going to be 32 units of mass. Now, to find the total mass of the entire compound now, all you simply have to do is just add up all the total mass of each element. Right? Look at how nice and simple that is. So 77 point one zero and that's grams per mole because we're finding molar mass that's all there is to it ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for tuning in now you know how to find the molar mass of ammonium acetate i'll see you in the next one bye